Ini
I think those are my loose bolts. Pretty sure I flooded it, having it upside down. Here's my issue. A tree limb stopped me dead in my tracks. I'm gonna go get the drone. I'll let that set for a minute. I'm coming, I'm coming. For some reason, I was just going, and it just killed itself. Well, the, it's all sudden very windy out. Just to catch you up to speed, I did get it to start after the GoPro died. I think one cylinder, it's not firing in one cylinder. So either the plug went bad, or from being the, or from the snowmobile being tipped on its side for a good 20 minutes that maybe the carburetor float is stuck open again. I had them cleaned up pretty good, but I'm not saying oil or anything they backflow through it. It shouldn't have. But I left the spare plugs on my toolbox. Now I'm walking home, approximately three miles from my house through the fields to get the spare plugs. Except I need another person to drive it back. I'm not until tonight, but I can try to get it running at least. Get my workout in for the day. That's what I get for having fun, I guess. I'm walking in my snowmobile track I made because it's the least deep part of the field. Wish I had my snowshoes on me. Well, right now it's not too bad. Well, some spots are just get walking to a snow drift. It's deep. All right, so I finally made it back. I just got the player sitting the 340 started getting it warmed up grab the old spare plugs hopefully they work enough just to get back that's the problem but somehow I gotta get both of these back or do I wait until I have help if I get it started I might try to drive both of them at the same time let's go see what we can do all right so the new plugs didn't work so I'm guessing that the float is stuck or it's just flooded for whatever reason. I'm gonna try to pull, I'm gonna try to start again in here real quick. But I got the 340 hooked up to it and I took the belt off of the clutch. I'm gonna try to tow it home. If that don't work, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do, <laughs> to be honest. I might still need another person to handle the steering on this, but we'll see if we can do it by myself. Well, I had to resort to the scrub to pull me back. Oh, I can turn this off right now. A player Sandy 340 just did not have enough traction to do it. Yeah, the belt's off and everything. I just need, it's probably better to take the road, to be honest. It'd be faster I'm going to Betty's. That's cold. the belt's not on if it does start. Of course now it doesn't want to start. No. It usually doesn't need it, but... It's still running on two cylinders. stuck on one of the carburetors. I had it, I, it was upside down. So the belt's off, so it should go good.
What a scrub. Came in and drive a Polaris Razor. What a scrub. With the help of Brock, my scrub brother, we got the snowmobile back and we're gonna look into the carburetors. Probably do a third cleaning job on it. So if the float is stuck, then it's probably gummed up again. That's what we get for using pine saw. You gotta use it right. Anyways, we'll look into that later. Thanks you guys for watching and please subscribe. You can check out my second channel that I started and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.